Hi everyone, this is Jim Lee Elevators here on YouTube, and I don't normally make videos like this one, but after discovering Schindler Elevator's social media page, they're doing this national holiday called National Elevate Day. And after seeing a short video from YouTube user Diesel Ducey, I figured why not I do one myself. But anyways, this right here you are seeing is a Schindler elevator limit switch from inside of an elevator shaft. And if you guys wonder where this came from, this actually came from out of the red parking garage of the Galleria Mall. You know, the one, not the one by Macy's, nor the one by Nordstrom, but the one leading into the mall. As they're, they're, they just literally modernized that elevator that's been broken down for so long. And unfortunately, they already threw the buttons away. So this was the only piece that was left remaining. And it wasn't Schindler Elevator who did the mod. It was actually Fuji Tech Elevator, just like they modded the orange parking garage elevators a while back. So anyways, this right here is a limit switch, which basically when the elevator car passes it rolls onto this limit switch which basically sends a signal for the elevator car to prepare to come to a stop as it reaches a desired floor this is what a limit switch does and if you stay tuned for a future upload i've actually been on a full glass elevator at highland village that literally has the view of the final uh, of the limit switch in action that you're that you're going to see. And I don't mean to say final limit switch because a final limit switch basically is uh, when the elevator car hits that switch causing the entire system to stop working and the elevator technician will have to go reset it. But that is beside the point. This is just a regular limit switch. Basically like I said when the elevator car hits the hits the roller, it sends a signal, like I said, for the elevator car to prepare to stop reaching its desired floor. It's a it's like a it's like a leveling device. So, anyways, like I said, this came from one of the red parking garage elevators at the Galleria Mall. YouTube user Rad Dudes Man nine seven nine just uh, informed me that the elevator over there was getting modernized because I was there for quite a lot of time and it's been broken down for almost a while and I didn't even know it was actually getting modernized until one of my followers who I just mentioned commented on my video and so I literally rushed back to the Galleria Mall to see what was going on and just after a few tries looking for the technician, lo and behold, I literally found this thing laying on the ground and Fuji Tech told me that I can have this. So I know it's been a long, it's, it's, a, it's a long challenge, but I literally brought this all the way home. So if you're, if you're seeing here, you can see it says Schindler Elevator Corporation. Start with the shakes. See, Schindler Elevator Corporation. See, that's, uh, that's, who, it, that's who it's made from. As you can see, it's got 250 volts and it is an S3 type. You see? That's the label right there, as you can see. Schindler Elevator originally installed, the ele installed those elevators, I believe in 2002, I think, or 2001, I'm not sure though. But um, anyways, I think what I can do is, I'm going to throw out a video of the elevator that I filmed way back in 2006, as well as showing an updated take I just did not too long ago. And just, I need to fairly note, I did talk to the Fuji Tech elevator technicians and they don't plan on modernizing the other elevators. They're just only doing the ones right by the mall. They don't plan on modernizing the ones by Macy's nor Nordstrom. They only did the modernization on that one, mainly because of the water damage that took place and they were unable to get it fixed for any reason. So they had no other choice than to completely modernize. And 
this thing and this was the only thing that I was able to take. So I want to say a big thank you to Fuji Tech Elevator for this uh, for this limit switch. You see, the reason I have my I still have my gloves on because it's not been cleaned up, showered, or restored. So I'm gonna need to do that at some point. So let's get another view of this limit switch right here. The limit switch is basically like a to level to help level the elevator car. And as you see on that yellow tag right there, that says top terminal and location line. I'm not really sure what that means. Uh, if, you, if you can define that, uh, I would like to know more about it. If you don't mind, I would appreciate it. Anyways, I'm going to roll you through the videos. The first one being the one being the video I took way back in 2006. So that's like literally 18 years ago almost, as well as showing the take that I did today. And like I said, I know I did say that the elevators, the rest of the elevators in the red parking garage are gonna be modernized, but please, and I mean, please disregard that. When I took the video at that time, this was way before I met the elevator technician and told me that they don't plan on modernizing the others. So with that being said, I'm going to get to the video, so here we go. Here we come to one of the elevators in the red parking garage at the Galleria Mall in Houston, Texas. This is going to be a final ride, if not already. If you don't know, this is actually, this elevator is actually one of my childhood elevators I rode. If you remember that video from back in 2006. The reason I'm saying this is a final ride because I recently got a comment from one of my followers saying that one of the elevators were getting modernized. And it was the one that was broken the last time I came here. I also don't see any elevator technicians either. Your floor ladies? Um, two please. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. Thanks. You're welcome. Bye. But yeah, as you can see, If you guys watch my videos for a long time, you might have seen this exact elevator from back in 21, but 2000, you, what floor are you going? Four. You're welcome, sir. Have a great day. <clears throat> that indicator looks like it's seen better days. But like I was saying, if you guys remember this, if you remember my old video I filmed back in 2006, this is the same exact elevator that I filmed way back when I was a kid. Let's see if we can try to get, get a ride uninterrupted. Sadly, I'm afraid this elevator is probably going to get modernized once the broken one I came to the last time is finished. You know, that specific elevator over there that's broken is in the process of getting modernized. It 
See, this is the same exact view I looked out when I, when I first filmed this thing. This thing kind of shakes a lot too. And listen to that lantern. That's definitely sounded wonderful. Look up in the ceiling, who do you see? Hi. I don't mean to take so much rides, but this elevator may not be around for much longer. Much better view. Exactly the same habit I did many years ago. I can't believe it's been so long. I'm definitely gonna miss this elevator. I mean, definitely needed a modernization because I've heard about poor maintenance, especially in malls. That most, that most malls don't have any maintenance here. All right, we're gonna get a full detailed view of this cab because this elevator is probably gonna be going bye-bye. I don't know if it's, I don't know if they're gonna start this one or the next. They've already modernized both the orange and the yellow garage and it looks like this elevator, uh, these elevators are probably next. These are your fixtures. I used to come to this L. I used to come to this mall every single time. Here's your phone. All right. I think what we can do is that number. It looks like a looks like it's something. I'll let you see the numbers this time. reason it has, it has like the letterings instead of the numbers that is something all right let's go back down this because it's getting hot all right here we go All right, we're going to go ahead and end it on two. I'm definitely going to miss this elevator. Okay, there it goes, and that is gonna be it.